Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Tactical Talks. So in this video, I'm going to finally be shooting 1522 through uh, Smith & Wesson. So sorry about the wind noise. It is really windy out here. I'm in the middle of a uh, tactical handgun class. So we're going to get this little red dot slash green dot sided in. And then after that, we're going to do kind of a uh, first impression. And I'll let you guys know what I think about this thing and what I'm going to be using it for. All right guys, so in this part of the video, um, what I'm gonna be showing you guys is when I was at the range with my Smith & Wesson 1522. So this was the first time I shot it and I was just trying to sight in the red um, slash green dot that I had on it. It was a very cheap optic that I got from a buddy of mine. And what I'm doing here, as you can tell, is I'm shooting three round bursts to give me a small group to see where I'm shooting and then making adjustments from there. good so unfortunately after shooting i think four or five three round bursts and making adjustments i mean i was making i was doing three four clicks trying to get it over to the right trying to get it down because it was shooting very high and left um and i was making small adjustments realizing that it wasn't changing much of anything so i started making drastic adjustments and i mean i'm talking 15 to 20 clicks down and when what that translated to on paper was maybe two to three inches and I needed to drop down a good eight inches um, from aiming, aiming center mass to hitting you know towards the shoulder of the target that I was aiming at so once those adjustments were made it still didn't have me where I needed to be and then the adjustment caps to cover um, weren't going back on properly so I decided to just scratch the red and green dot on there. So I took the red and green dot off. So the next string of fire that you're going to see in the video is my first, I guess, official mag impression, actually shooting it outside of trying to sight something in. And um, we did two drills. One of them I was just doing double taps, hitting steel targets. And then after that, a buddy of mine, he was doing kind of follow-up drills. I would shoot, I would double tap a target, he'd double tap. And we'd go back and forth. I had a few more rounds than he did, so I was able to go a little bit further. But I'm going to let you guys check that out, and then I'll let you know what I think about this rifle. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you listened and paid attention to the shooting, every single one of those shots was a hit. Now, we were standing about 15 to 20 yards away, which isn't very far, especially for a rifle, but most engagements that happen, especially in my line of work, are going to happen within that shorter range um, distance. So everything that I shot was a hit. I wasn't necessarily going for, you know, shooting a keyhole or shooting rounds on top of another. All the targets that we were shooting at were life-size human targets. And like I said, every single one of them was a hit. Each magazine is 25 rounds. So both of those string of fire that you watched, 25 rounds a piece. We put 50 rounds down range. And again, every single one of them would have been a hit on a person, was a hit on the target. So I can tell you, I have a, a few different ARs. I have a few different rifles, stuff like that. This may be my new favorite rifle. Um, very easy to shoot, minimal recoil, just kind of takes you back to the basics of shooting. You're not, and not that 5.56 is a, a huge blast as far as recoil is concerned, but with the 22, the recoil is so minimal that 
it's not even you know on your mind. You're just focused on getting on target, lining up those sights, and pulling that trigger. You know, slow, steady squeeze. In this situation, like I said, we were doing um, different little drills, and so the the hammer and the and the trigger reset was a lot quicker. But again, I was able to stay on target without any issues. So if you guys don't know who Jerry Mitchellek is, check out his YouTube channel. He's a world champion um, professional gun shooter. I mean. This guy shoots any and everything, and he's fast. I watched some videos with him, and he was saying that what he does in you know in the off time to practice is he practices with a Smith and Wesson 1522 just to take him back to the basics. So that was kind of my thought process a little bit with getting this rifle. The other thing was I have a daughter on the way, so I wanted to get her a rifle so as she gets older, she can learn on the AR platform with a 22, kind of start her off small, and then as she gets older, move her up to a uh, Two two three or five five six, but I can tell you as far as my first and second, I guess actual mag impressions go, highly highly recommend this rifle. It is amazing. My buddy was shooting next to me; he was shooting a twenty two, but it was a um, five five six or two two three AR fifteen with the conversion kit in it, so it had the upgraded bolt as well as the obviously magazine and all that stuff and. His is a little bit heavier than mine. He's got a little bit more money into it because you know he bought it as a 5.56 and then converted it over. This one, I think, when it's all said and done, I think they go for about $300. You can find them fairly cheap online. And it's a great, great, great training tool. I mean, I, I can't recommend this thing enough. Like I said, I have a lot of different guns. And at least for right now, this one is my favorite. It's extremely cheap to shoot because it's 22 easy to shoot very light very easy to get into if you have somebody in your family that you're thinking about introducing into you know rifle shooting i definitely recommend something like this especially for children kids and again for adults you know those of you guys that, that shoot ars on a normal basis you maybe you don't want to spend that much money going you know on ammo shooting all the time get you one of these i mean this thing whether you get a conversion kit like a buddy of mine had because that thing ran flawlessly or you get the uh, Smith & Wesson 1522. Obviously, that's made just for 22. I mean, it's just... I, I can't say enough good things about it. So that's my initial review on this weapon. Unfortunately, the red slash green dot that I had didn't work out. So we went to iron sights. But that's what I shot when I was in the Marine Corps for the beginning of my career was just iron sights. I got used to it. I'm, I'm pretty proficient as far as that goes. And like I stated, with just iron sights... 15, 20 yards, whatever it was away, every single shot was a hit. So hopefully you guys take something from this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. If you guys want any merchandise, check the links down in the description and don't forget to click on the first link down in the description if you guys want to follow my vlogging channel to see kind of what happens behind the scenes and what I do on a weekly basis outside of just filming these tactical talk videos. So thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.